Welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. Today we are going to look at the laptop. So this is a uh, HP 745G3. Has been uh, I have been using it for the last three years, and at the moment the problem that I'm having with this laptop is that it's uh, thermal throttling a lot. So whenever it gets overheated, uh, it tends to slow down by a significant amount causing actually opening even an excel file to be very difficult or opening a browser or basically anything you are doing with the laptop it tends to be lagging all right so what i do know is that the performance of this pc this laptop is not supposed to be like that and what i do notice um, is that whenever it happens the fan will be spinning very fast hot air will be coming out even though the ventilation at the back here is not blocked so this leads me to believe that most likely the ventilation fan on the inside is most likely clogged up so we'll be opening this up and we'll be um, dusting it so the first thing we need is probably not we will need an electronic uh, screwdriver set and some compressed air all right, so we'll get to that. Okay, so the first thing that we'll be doing is we'll be removing the screw covers, all these um, rubbers. We just need a very small flat head. Just pry them out. Okay, so there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. Okay, so once that's done. What we need to do is pry this open. Oh, sorry. We have to remove this tray, and there's one more screw here. Then we need to pry this open. Okay, I'm gonna bring the camera closer a bit to zoom in. Uh, I hope there's enough zoom for us to see. Alright, as you can see, it's actually filled with dust. So since we have the whole thing open, uh, it's as simple as just either blowing on the opposite direction and have the dust fly over and blow the whole unit or just push all the air in from this side. So whichever way works, alright? Wow, this thing is cold. Okay, 
Okay, putting it back is just clipping it back in here. Okay, and then we just screw it back. Okay, so it's important not to mix up this screw with the rest of the screw because if you can see I'm gonna move it all to, away to here uh, as you can see the screw for this hole here is this long screw whereas the screw for the rest are all short screws alright you do not want to mix them out so you don't want the long screw in the short hole alright cause you might uh, over thread downwards and if there's any part of the board that's down there you'll probably be breaking it alright so it's important for that okay what I would practice is normally I'll go through the sides then towards the middle so I'll go to the four edges first Then I'll go to the sides Then I'll go to the middle then we'll be putting back all the rubber caps on again and we're done oops sorry gotta put this back in light and it boots up all right so that's uh, this ends um, today's video is a short one and I hope you like it and also uh, if you like it just hit just hit the like button if you don't like it you know what to do um, yeah <coughs> Alright, oh no, no, the camera is on the opposite direction, yeah, yeah, if you don't like it, if you like it, alright, so, um, if you want to see more contents uh, from me, more DIYs, more do-it-yourselves, things that we can do at home, not just limited to cars, not just limited to uh, technologies, houses as well, I do um, renovate my own house, so, Hit the subscribe if you are interested in all those, alright? Thank you!